everyone, welcome back to FA Channel with Paris, Game de Nihongo. Let's keep learning Japanese together. Sorry that this morning we couldn't make it to the Twitch live for some reason, but we'll continue post on YouTube channel and next week for sure we'll be there. Twitch live Wednesday morning, Japan time. Tuesday night, Eastern time, we'll continue to learn together. I really do think my Japanese is getting better even though we don't really go out talk too much and two of us are speaking English but by playing game or watch something in Japanese and keep learning sentence by sentence or some simple words it's kind of getting better <laughs> you know like learning language this kind of thing will take some time but it's like uh, they say it's like a stairs so you may feel like you're not growing much but after a while you will realize you do learn a lot Okay, let's start with today's episode, something really funny. Uh, you know in this Xinjiang game, Xinjiang love doing butt dance. <laughs> and the first scene, let's go take a look. He's like showing his signature moves right now. これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ
how great it is. Go is great. So this thought of emphasizing this uh, this comma in between the word and repeating this hiragana gives another layer of meaning for the expression, which is interesting. So basically he's saying, okay, yes, sometime I will try to practice. Lian Xiu is practice. Okay, let's go to the next. Ja, ashita, ashita kara mata, mata, as omisen ni kite ne. So ja is like, and well, well yeah. tomorrow, well, then, yeah. mm, tomorrow we can come yeah. to the store. Please come Please to come the store, store from tomorrow. Eh, that's good. I get it. Ah, um, wakata, wakata, oh wakata! I I get it. Wakata. You wakata, wakata. Wakata, wakata. Wakata, wakata. Wow, I basically get a lot of things. This sentence seems long, but the meaning you can guess because we learned a couple words from this. Ja, ashita kara matta. So, ja, we learned it's like so. Ashita is tomorrow. Mata is later, like wait. And then there's omiseni. Omisen is store. Kite is come. We know all these words. Ashita, mata, omiseni, omisen, omisen, and then. So, what I guessed is like, come to store tomorrow, again. So, the meaning is, so please come back to the store tomorrow. And what I'm, what I was, wasn't right is, I didn't get this kara. Ashita kara mata. If you just say, ashita mata kite, it's like, pointing like, come tomorrow. But this kara means continually. So what she means there is, please come back, continually coming back from tomorrow. Yeah, so that's the only thing that, I think that's a new thing we should emphasize and learn about this sentence. Uh, but at this point, there are a lot of words we already know. And the last one will be wakata. Wakata is something we, I'm pretty sure I mentioned, and it's very easy and very common to use, is I know, wakata. Again, I know in English, it's I know with a subject, but wakata is still, is there's no subject, and but people assume you said I know. Okay, cool. Let's do a little recap of all these sentences. It seems quite a lot. But I think a lot of things are real, real, we already know it. And some of them, even you don't know, it's easy to remember for this episode. For example, the first sentence, kore dekiru, can you do this? And then, ko kundo rinshu shite oku. Sometime I will learn this emphasizing, we should know. And the next one is Ashita kara mata omise ni kite kite ne. Please continue come from tomorrow. And then wakata. I know. Wakata. I know. <laughs> cool. That's it for today's episode. Do you learn something? If you have any question, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Let's keep learning together. Bye-bye.